Hey guys, how's it going? It's Crackerjack, and today we are starting part 5 of our Pokemon Insurgent adventure. We've just escaped Midna Cave. Uh, we are now, of course, we found Nora, and Nora is in the Pokemon Training School, and we are going to go and compete in the Pokemon Training School tournament. So let's go ahead and see if we can hopefully win the Pokemon Training School tournament. Hey, Cracker, right? Thank you for finding Nora for me. Now that you're here, we can finally get started with this tournament. Everyone is waiting. Wow, there's a lot of people here for this tournament. Welcome students. I hope you're all ready for one of the biggest tournaments we've had yet. We have two new students from Telnor Town, Town, Damien and Cracker. I think we're all excited to see how well they do. Let's begin. Best of luck to all of you. Today we have eight very eager students ready to compete for the title of champion. Let's have a look, shall we? Who are we playing, playing first? We're playing up against someone called Kyle, who looks like a tiny little kid. Without further ado, let the first match begin. This will be a battle between Kaka, Cracker and Kyle. Okay, Kyle, show me what you got. Ninja Boy Kyle sent out a Riolu. Come on, Cubone. Use Bone Club. Wow. We got absolutely destroyed by that Riolu. Looks like we're going to have to send in the big guns. Let's send out our Charmeleon. Let's also hope that our Pokemon get uh, fully healed at the end of this. Is he sending out a Tyrogue? We use Shadow Sneak, we'll use it again. Almost killed it. Let's just go ahead and hit it with a scratch. There we go, well done Charmeleon, can always count on you. Uh, no, we're not going to change Pokemon, we're going to keep our Riolu in. It's a bit of a shame that we don't get any EXP from that, we're going to use a Twister. Oh yeah, we made it flinch. However, its speed has been raised, so we might have to go ahead and hit it with a Shadow Sneak to ensure that we get a first hit on it. There we go. Charmeleon, easy as you like. We defeated Ninja Boy Kyle. What? No fair. You can't beat a ninja. Well, I just did. And I took your money as well. Wow, what an exciting first round. The stadium is getting heated up, and the contestants are on fire. Let us turn our attention to the back. Back to the scoreboard for the results. It looks like the next match will be, will be between Cracker and Damien. Let the battle begin! Yeah, bring it Damien! Okay, here we go. Sending out a Luxio. Okay, it's good, we get our Pokemon fully healed so we can use our Cubone to full effect because I believe Luxio might be an electric type, so we can try and Bone Club it and hopefully it might be super effective. Oh yeah, I mean, it's not as effective as I would have hoped it would have been, but it's still super effective nonetheless. Almost there, come on Cubo, one more hit. There we go, one Pokemon down. Sending out a Corpish, will I change my Pokemon? Uh, yeah, I will. We're gonna send out a Charmeleon. See, I want to put Fanfy in, but because we're not getting any e EXP, I feel like Fanfy is a bit wasted at the moment. So we are just going to try and use Twister again. And finish it off with a Shadow Sneak. Oh, not quite. There we go. Killed it with a scratch. What's your final Pokemon? It's a War Turtle. Uh, we will not change Pokemon. We'll keep our Charmeleon out. We're going to use Shadow Sneak. It's not that effective against it. However, he is going to use a Dark type move and it's going to kill us, which is just. This is just awful, man. This is so bad. Why is this a thing in this game? Mm. 
I mean, I kind of understand that, you know, water type would be good against fire. But, we're not a water type, we're not a fire type. Come on. Come on, Cuba, you can do it. Use your bone club. And of course you miss at the crucial time. At the crucial time, all the time. Whenever there's something important about to happen, Cubone always misses. Looks like we're gonna lose this battle. Which I have no control over because, like I say, you know, Fanfi's not ready for this stuff. And it's just gonna be stuck in a rollout, which isn't very effective, so. Yeah, we're basically dead. Sorry, Fanfi. There we go. I completely shut you down. Your one Pokemon shut me down. We hope to see you again. Ah, wait, can we go back and redo that tournament? I think we can redo that tournament, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go head back over to the training school and try and win the tournament this time round. Alright then, Damien, we're back again. Hopefully, second time will be much better than the first time we tried to beat you. Come on, Cubone. You know exactly what to do in this matchup. Hit him again, Cubone. Same attack. There we go. We finish off the Luxio with ease. We are going to change Pokemon. We're going to send out our Charmeleon. We are going to use Twister, come on. We are also going to try and see if we can heal our Cubone before the next Pokemon, which is going to be his Wartortle, because I feel that Cubone's ground type Bone Club is super effective against uh, Wartortle, so we'll see how that plays out. We're just going to go ahead and finish off this Corpish. We're going to test the water, we're going to send out our Cubone and hope that its ground type move is super effective because I feel like before it was certainly super effective against him. Let's try it. Hopefully we don't miss. As I say that, he misses again all of the time with Cubone. I don't know what's going on. I honestly have no idea what's going on with Cubone, but all of the time he misses. Okay, so it's not super effective, but that doesn't... You know, it doesn't give him an excuse to miss. Always missing Cubone. Again, always missing. I don't know what's up with him. Honestly, I have no idea what's up with Cubone. Just somehow decides to miss all of the time. Right, our Cubone is dead. We are going to send out Fampy. Just to try and, you know, delay sending out our Charmeleon. We're going to try and flail it to death. Please don't die on the first hit. There we go. We at least get one hit off with our Fanfi. It wasn't even... It didn't even do that much. Like, it literally didn't even do anything to it. We're just going to try and growl it now to try and get its uh, attack down. Okay, our Fanfi is dead. Now it's time to send out our one and only Charmeleon, the last Pokemon that we have. We're at a bit of a disadvantage because of course our Charmeleon is weak against War Turtle, so we're going to use Twister. There we go, so our attack uh, weakening our opponent's attack did work to a certain extent. Come on Charmeleon, hang in there. Hopefully we get the first attack. There we go, this should kill it. Well done, Charmeleon. 
Well done, Fancy, for lowering uh, War Turtle's attack stats as well. There we go, we defeat Damien. You completely shut me down. You sure damn right I did. What spectacular matches! These trainers are really giving it all. Let's direct our attention at the scoreboard one final time. Alright, it's all set. The final match of this tournament will, will be between Cracker and Nora. May the best trainer win! Alright, come on, Nora. Quilava. Uh, let's try and just use Bone Club, I guess. Let's do it another time. Come on, Cubone, you, you've got this. Almost there, Cubone, come on. Thank God he didn't miss. Thank God he did not miss there. So, Waddle, uh, we're going to change to our Charmeleon. We are going to use a Twister. Bug Bite is not effective against me. Trap Inch. Uh, we're not going to change our Pokemon. We are going to send out... Oh, we're going to use Twister, sorry. Come on, one more attack and we should have it. There you have it, we win the Pokemon School Tournament after beating Nora. I couldn't win. Is it possible there's a better trainer than me? What an amazing battle! Both the trainers put up a great fight, but our very own Cracker was what, the one that came out on top. Congratulations Cracker, you have certainly earned today's title of Champion. That's all we have time for, I hope you enjoyed today's contest, and we hope to see you again soon. As usual, fantastic tournament. It looks like our champion, Nora, has been toppled. Congratulations to our new champion, Cracker. Next time we have a tournament, I guess we all know who to watch out for. Don't forget everyone, if you study hard, maybe you'll be able to win the next one. So, crack open those books and get down to it. What a tournament! That battle between Cracker and Nora in the final? Well, I was off my seat with excitement. The battle between Cracker and I was pretty good too, right? It was okay. The final was far better. Oh, alright. Anyways, Cracker, I'd like to give you this TM as a reward. After all, every tournament champion deserves a grand prize. What TM is it? TM27. It contained return, so not that great. This is the TM for return. You can teach it to anyone, and the more it likes you, the more damage it will do. I hope this encourages you to bond further and become closer to your Pokemon. Hey, here, Nora. For getting second, you can have one too. Thank you, miss. I was third. Can I have something too? No. That's so deep on Damien. Oh my god. I'll, I'll, share, I'll share my TM with you, Damien. Don't worry. I really was quite impressed with your skill, Cracker. If you're headed west, why not stop in Sun Touch City? There's a gym there, led by a young trainer named Orion. He specializes in fire types and grass types, but much less so the latter. If you want to be a strong trainer, getting gym badges is the key to improving your skills. I highly recommend it. That's what I'm doing here, Cracker. Now that I've seen that I'm not the only one who, you know... Never mind. But I feel more comfortable taking risks and honing my skills. I guess it's a race. You too. Um, what's your name exactly? My name is Damien. Right, Damien. I'll see you both in Sun Touch City. Okay, well, looks as if now we're gonna head to Sun, Sun Touch City. However, before we do, we are of course gonna go to our Pokemon Center and heal up our Pokemon and restock on some potions, and then we're gonna head west to Sun Touch City. Oh ho, a young trainer. Tell me, do you enjoy fishing? Well, sure, of course I do. 
Ha! I knew you would! You look like a fine fisherman! But what's this if you don't have a fishing rod? Well, let me fix that. Take this! I obtained the old rod. Make good use of that rod. Simply stand next to a body of water and use it from your bag. I have specially bred these Pokemon to be stronger than any others. They're genetically superior! I, I highly doubt that. Pokemon breeder Isaac would like to battle. He sent out a Pig Knight. Well, let's go ahead and use a Bone Club. Stay alive, Cubone, come on. Stay alive, Cubone. There you go. Right, we're gonna switch out our Pokemon. We're gonna send in our Fanfy because we know that Rollout might be actually super effective against this Pig Knight. So let's see if we can get Fanfy a bit more EXP as well while we're at it. However, it does look as if Fanfy is inevitably gonna die, which has kind of been the story of Fanfy's life so far with me. And let's try and hit it with a Shadow Sneak so we do guarantee the first hit. And of course we do kill it. Cubone grew to level 15 which is fantastic as well. And our own Charmeleon is almost at level 20. We're gonna send out a Servine. We're not gonna change our Pokemon, we're gonna keep Charmeleon in there. We are going to use a Twister. Not that effective against it actually. There we go, well done Charmeleon. 662 EXP and up to level 20. Absolutely fantastic. We're almost there, Grunt. Keep on marching. What the hell's going on? Is that another cult? Where the hell did they go? What's, what's going on up here? Let's go and collect this. This looks like it might be like a burn hill or something. An antidote, there we go. Let's go ahead and investigate what's going on over here. We are at the ancient ruins. Oh, this looks spooky. Seems to be lots of statues of Lucario just dotted around. Let's go in here. We have you now, Riolu. There's nowhere to run. Oh no, they're trapping a Riolu. Just stop running, Riolu. You're ours now. Get away from that Pokemon. What do you think you're doing? Can't you see you're scaring it? Oh, fantastic. Kids who think they're heroes. Will the two of you deal with them, please? Do it quickly. We have a Riolu to catch. I hope you're ready to lose. The Abyssal Cult will crush you here. So it is people from the Abyssal Cult, yet again. They keep popping up. Alright, so we meet again, Abyssal Cultist. Sending out your horsey. We are sending in our Cubone. Oh wow, of course it's a Dragon type, and it uses a Dragon type move against me, so Twist is going to be super effective against me, but that's no worry. We do take out the horsey. We gain a nice little bit of EXP on the side as well. We are now going to send out our Cubone to try and battle their Skrelp. Hopefully we'll be able to land a couple of Bone Clubs on it. Bone Club, of course, being super effective against the Skrelp. There we go. That's what we like to see. Bubble is, of course, super effective against us, but hopefully our Cubone will be able to hit the Skrelp first. As I say that, we are too slow because Bubble lowered our speed. So, here we go. We're going to send out our Charmeleon. Charmeleon has to hit first. We have to try and hit the Skrelp with a twister and we have to try and kill it with the first hit. Come on Charmeleon. There we go, critical hit does it for us. Charmeleon gets 277 EXP up to level 21. Let's go ahead and try that again. This time we get the first attack off. Let's go ahead and just twister it. One more attack should do it for us. What well on Charmeleon. We defeated the Abyssal Cultist. 
childish impudence, you are nothing. That's what. That's exactly what you said last time, and we still beat you, and we beat you again this time, so I think we are actually something. Hmm, how on earth could you lose? You two have the best Pokemon the Abyssal Cult have to offer. Why do I always need to clean up after your mistakes? I'll deal with the children in a second. For now, I'm after this Pokemon. Oh, here comes a Lucario. Oh, how sweet. The mother came to protect her little child. Now quick, you grunt. You've heard the rumours about this Lucario. You know why we're here. We need to catch it quickly before it... Oh no! What the hell's Lucario doing? Run! Now! We can't handle Lucario in this form! Is that like a Mega Lucario? L Lucario, what What was that? Was that Mega Evolution? I only came here because I heard about this ruin and I thought it would be interesting to explore. I'm glad I came in time. Those people were missing. Th those people were from the Abyssal Cult. I know they worship Kyogre, but not much else. Mega Evolution, huh? I've never heard of it. Be I've heard of it before. I don't fully understand it, but it seems to be a form where Pokémon become even more powerful than before. But I remember reading that Mega Evolution requires a close bond between trainer and Pokémon. I wonder how that Lucario was able to do it then. I need to go research this more. I'll see you around, Cracker. Don't forget. We're still in the race. Alright guys, so we're back out onto route number two and that is exactly where we're going to be ending today's episode of Pokemon Insurgents Part 5. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Of course, next episode we're going to be continuing on route two to try and get to Sunshine City. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please do be sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, it would be a massive, massive help if you could hit that subscribe button as well. But for now, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.